Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipakshi Kurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 17th of September. Indian Prime Minister visits home province on birthday, reviews development. India to raise security along Pakistan border after Kartarpur corridor opens. And Taliban claims blast in Afghan says dozens dead. Now for all the details, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who turned 69 on Tuesday, visited home province Gujarat to review developmental works. He also took part in celebrations being held to mark the Sardar Sarovar Dam on Anmada River, receiving water to its full capacity. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who turned 69 on Tuesday, visited his home province Gujarat where he took part in various activities, including a visit to the Sardar Sarovar Dam on the Narmada River. Prime Minister Modi offered prayers as part of the government's Namami Devi Narmade Mahotsav celebrations being held to mark the dam receiving water to its full capacity. While addressing a public gathering on the occasion, Prime Minister Modi said, Kevadiya town, where the dam is situated, is the life example of how development can be done while protecting the nature. हमारी संस्कृति में हमेशा माना गया है कि पर्यावरण की रक्षा करते हुए भी विकास हो सकता है प्रकृति हमारे लिए आराध्य है प्रकृति हमारा आभूषण है हमारा गहना है पर्यावरण को संरक्षित करते हुए कैसे विकास किया जा सकता है इसका जीवंत उदाहरण अब केवड़िया में देखने को मिल रहा है अर्लियर इन द डे द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो विजिटेड द स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी एंड अ कैक्टस गार्डन एंड द एकता नर्सरी विच मैन्युफैक्चर वेरियस ट्रेडिशनल इको फ्रेंडली प्रोडक्ट्स एंड ऑफर्स अ लाइव डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस टू विजिटर्स An official of India's Interior Ministry said on Monday that the presence of border security force will be stepped up along the Pakistan border once the Kartarpur corridor opens. The cross-border pilgrim corridor will enable Indian Sikhs to visit one of their holy places of worship in Pakistan from November. The presence of India's border security force or BSF will be stepped up to a huge extent along the Pakistan border in northern Punjab province once the cross-border Kartarpur pilgrim corridor will open, an official said on Monday. The Kartarpur corridor connecting Dera Baba Nanak in India to Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib in Pakistan will enable Indian Sikh pilgrims to travel to the Holy Sikh Shrine visa-free on the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak, the founder of Sikhism, on November 12th. An Indian Interior Ministry official said the passenger terminal building for the corridor will be completed by October end. Here is the border security force presence. उसको काफ़ी हद तक बढ़ाया जाएगा और जब ये टर्मिनल बिल्डिंग और आ, सड़क बन जाएंगी जब इनाग्रेशन हो जाएगा तो लगभग छः कंपनियां बीएसएफ की यहां पे तैनात हो मीन वाइल द पाकिस्तानी प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर ऑफ द क्रॉस बॉर्डर पिलग्रिम कॉरिडोर सेड ऑन मंडे दैट द वीज़ा फ्री बॉर्डर क्रॉसिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया टू करतारपुर साहिब विल बी इनाग्रेटेड ऑन नवम्बर नाइन ही सेड ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ वर्क ऑन द कॉरिडोर हैज़ बीन कम्प्लीटेड फ्राम देयर साइड The Kartarpur corridor project is a rare recent example of cooperation between the nuclear powers despite soaring tensions. Officials have said up to 5000 pilgrims will be allowed access daily with plans to eventually double the capacity. 
Executive Director of Sindhi Foundation, Munawar Sufi Laghari, has requested Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to speak about the human rights violations in Sindh and on the plight of minorities in Pakistan during the upcoming UN General Assembly session. Human rights activists on Monday gathered in Geneva to highlight and discuss the ongoing atrocities meted on Baloch, Sindhi and minorities at the hands of Pakistani authorities. Political activist Munawar Sufi Lagari requested Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to speak about the human rights violations in Sindh and other provinces during the upcoming UN General Assembly session. Speaking at conference on minorities and democratic process in Pakistan in Geneva, Lagari said the only hope to overcome fear inside Sindh is help from outside. Prime Minister Modi must talk about this religious freedom in the Sindh is the actually locked and this is uh, the Pakistani Inter-Service Intelligence Agency, ISI, that is their object and using some of the people which are the, from the Sindh as the face value, but the behind is the totally the, uh, the uh, military is that. Baloch activist Taj Baloch said that international human rights bodies and United Nations should visit Balochistan and investigate the war crimes committed by Pakistan. Actually the situation has gone worse because the international community has been silenced on the atrocities in Balochistan. In the beginning it was enforced disappearance, then the killing dump began and then burning the villages and uh, now even Technically, it shall be called genocide and ethnic cleansing. Activists also blame Pakistan not just for human rights violations on its own country, but its engagement in promoting jihad in neighboring Afghanistan as well. Moving on, scores of university students recently staged a protest over the issue of up to 50% fee hike in Gilgit, Baltistan. They described it as a conspiracy by Pakistan to deprive the students in the illegally occupied region from getting higher education. Hundreds of students recently held a protest over the sudden fee hike by the Karakoram International University in Gilgit, Baltistan. The protesting students from various departments gathered outside the administration block of the university and raised slogans describing the up to 50% increase in fees as injustice with them. The students blamed the fee was increased with no prior notice and expressed middle class and poor families cannot afford such heavy amount of fees. They described it as a conspiracy to deprive them of getting higher education. इसलिए जो तुलबा थे जो काबिल और लायक तुलबा थे वो यहाँ आते थे क्योंकि यहाँ पे फीस स्ट्रक्चर कम था अब यहाँ पे फीस स्ट्रक्चर बढ़ा रहे हैं तो स्टूडेंट्स कहाँ से लाएंगे इतना पैसा यहाँ पे ना इंडस्ट्रीज है ना इतनी बड़ी बड़ी फैक्ट्रीज है लोगों के पास इनकम का इतना सोर्स नहीं है गरीब आवाम है और यहाँ पे जो बच्चे हैं वो बहुत ही टैलेंटेड है लेकिन इनकम के हवाले से वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा पासमानदा लेवल पे है the students said if the decision is not reverted, they will take out rallies and continue their protests. In news from Afghanistan, the Taliban claimed responsibility for two blasts in Afghan capital, Kabul, on Tuesday. At least 30 people were killed in the blast, their deadliest bombing taking place near an election rally by President Ashraf Ghani. This came just a few days ahead of the presidential election in the country. The Taliban claimed responsibility for two blasts which it said killed dozens of people in Afghanistan on Tuesday. The suicide attacks targeted Afghan security forces, the group's spokesperson said. At least six people were killed in a blast in the center of Afghan capital Kabul, police officials said. In a separate incident, an explosion near an election rally attended by Afghan President Ashraf Ghani killed at least 24 people and injured 31 others in north of Kabul, health officials said. Taliban commanders have said they will intensify clashes with Afghan and foreign forces to dissuade people from voting in the upcoming presidential election on 28th September. 
More news from Afghanistan. The UN Assistance Mission in Afghanistan has said everything should be done before presidential elections to ensure the right of Afghans to vote. The mission also recognized the efforts of the Afghan security forces in preparing for the presidential elections under challenging circumstances. The UN Assistance Mission in Afghanistan, or UNEMA, has said in a statement that everything should be done before presidential elections to ensure right to vote for Afghans. The UN envoy in Afghanistan, Tadamichi Yamamoto, in the statement on Monday, called on the Election Commission, the civil society, candidates and all other stakeholders working for transparent and credible elections to redouble their efforts before polls open. Yamamoto further said in the statement that voting is not just a matter of civil responsibility, but is showing support for peaceful political processes. Afghanistan is scheduled to hold the presidential election on September 28. The poll is crucial for the Election Commission of Afghanistan as the organizations were criticized for delay in results of parliamentary elections last time. UNEMA has also recognized the efforts of the Afghan security forces in preparing for the upcoming election under challenging circumstances. Ahead of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the U.S., India's Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goel said that India and the U.S. are in talks to resolve trade issues. India's Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal said on Monday that India and the U.S. are in talks to resolve trade issues. He said that whether the two countries will announce any trade deal would be decided when Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi meets U.S. President Donald Trump this week. Goyal's comment comes ahead of Prime Minister Modi's visit to the U.S., during which he would address the annual U.N. General Assembly session and have a series of engagements in New York. Well, we are uh, in continuous dialogue for the last several months with the United States and uh, we are working towards an early resolution of many of those issues. India-US bilateral relationship has been strained recently due to a host of trade and economic issues. India imposed retaliatory tariffs on 28 US products, including almonds and apples, starting June. This came a year after announcing them to counter the increase in steel and aluminium tariffs by the U.S. and withdrawal of duty-free benefits to Indian exporters. Around 120 Pakistani Hindu refugee families are looking forward to a new life in India. Living in the suburbs of New Delhi, these refugees fled their home country over several years, alleging discrimination and forced religious conversions back in Pakistan. Around 120 families of Pakistani Hindu refugees living in India are looking for a beginning of a new life in the suburbs of capital New Delhi. These refugees fled Pakistan over years, alleging discrimination and forced religious conversions in their home country. However, after all these years, the refugees are still looking for a dignified life in India as well. Several social workers from Hindu groups in India have been assisting the refugees for settlement in getting them citizenship to make them eligible for getting benefits from government schemes for poor. Now, there are 120 families. This is like 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, हमें बिखारी नहीं बनना है हमें ये अपने देश में आए हैं हम ठाकुर हैं ठाकुर रजपूत हैं हमें बिखारी नहीं बनना है हमारे बिखारी नहीं बनना है जाए नहीं हमारे कोई एक पुराना कपड़ा चाहिए नहीं हमारे पुराने ये चीजें नहीं चाहिए हम खुद हम कमा के लेंगे लेकिन हमारे पास है हमारे क्या जरूरत है हमारे को लाइट की लाइट हमारे को दी जाए और हमारे बच्चों के लिए जो पढ़ रहे हैं जो आधार कार्ड वगैरह उनके लिए किया जाए पानी के लिए किया जाए और हमारे के लिए नागरता के लिए किया जाए According to a UNHCR report, about 1,000 Hindu and Sikh refugees arrive in India every year with no intention of returning. They enter India on the pretext of pilgrimage and stay on extended visas. In 2015, Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led government said that it had granted Indian citizenship to nearly 4,300 Pakistani Hindus and Sikhs. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. Indian Prime Minister visits home province on birthday reviews development. 
India to raise security along Pakistan border after Kartarpur corridor opens. And Taliban claims blast in Afghan says dozens dead. Now our viewers can watch the show on SaadiyaNewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.